This is breaking news now from today's TMJ4. That breaking news at 6 o'clock, the Wauwatosa police officer who shot and killed Jay Anderson will not face criminal charges. Jay Anderson was sleeping in his car in a Wauwatosa park last June when he was approached by a police officer. The park had closed and officer Joseph Mensa was trying to figure out why Anderson and his car were still there. According to the district attorney, Anderson was in that car with a loaded handgun. He was also drunk and had marijuana in his system. The officer, Joseph Mensa, was working alone that night. This was the second time, however, in 11 months, Mensa shot and killed someone in the line of duty. 28 seconds recorded by a dash camera are the only video evidence of what happened that night. The video is as grainy as it is graphic, but we see Officer Mensa fire on Anderson at least six times. Police just released this video to us, and we want to show it to you in its entirety, but we want to warn you, it is disturbing as well as it's controversial. Here is that 28 seconds in its entirety. Again, you just saw that police video. No audio uh, was available for the video, and we learned that Officer Mensa would not be charged with Jay Anderson's death. So we'll begin our coverage tonight in Wauwatosa, where police say their officer was justified. Steve and Shannon, two reports were released today, one from the district attorney, one from the Milwaukee Police Department. Plus, of course, as you just showed us, that dash camera video. That was the first time that we got to see what transpired between the officer and Jay Anderson. We will never be able to hear the audio because the dash camera does not record that. Now, Officer Joseph Mensa says he found Anderson in the park sleeping. When he approached the car, he noticed a gun on the passenger seat. Officer Mensa says he told Anderson to keep his hands up. In the video, you see Anderson's hands raised. Mensa says Anderson dropped one of his hands towards the gun at least three times. You can see in the video Anderson's hands drop once, raise back, and dip back down again. That's when Mensa opens, fires, opens fire. He shoots six times, five times in the head, once in the shoulder. I have watched that video at least 20 times, and I was able to watch it in slow motion, forwards, backwards, frame by frame. I could take as much time as I needed. The police officer had less than one second to make the decision. A trained police officer who reasonably believes there is an imminent threat of death or great bodily harm to themselves or someone else is authorized by law to use deadly force. The medical examiner says Anderson was legally drunk and did have marijuana in his system. Mensa will be allowed to return to duty. For now, reporting live in the Wauwatosa Police Department, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. All right, Rebecca, it's been a long six months. Thank you. Of course, the